Summer is just around the corner and I don't know about you guys, but my kids love to spend a lot of time outside. I like for my kids to spend a lot of time outside. I wanted to show you how Dixieville Paint does more than just furniture. What I do, what you can do is go to your local tire store. They will be giggling with glee to give you as many tires as you want. Uh, these are not new tires. I found that if you just get some spray paint and just whoosh, that that's easier on the tires. If the tread is not as thin, then I like to brush it with just whatever color I want. My husband says crazy, I say colorful. I know. I have given this tire one coat of mermaid tail. I, I come around this edge with a brush. I paint it like I'm painting, you know, a dresser or a cabinet of some kind. I haven't done that side. I took it out, I cleaned it with a water hose, scraped it off, you know, with a little scrubby pad, made sure I got all the dirt out of it. And then I had my drill with a three quarter inch bit on it. I drilled a hole right here. This is gonna be for water drainage. When it's sitting outside and it's raining and you have your, your snow and your sleet and your rain and your whatever, it's gonna collect water, of course, in the bottom of it. So give you a good little hole down here to let the water seep out. Then you're gonna have another hole with a quarter inch drill bit up at the top for your hardware to hang to your chain or clasp or whatever from your tree. If you don't have a tree, you might have a front or back porch. If you don't have a front or back porch, you can build an A-frame, like A-frame on either side, one post that connects, hang your tire swing. Any handyman in your area is gonna know how to do that or YouTube it. <laughs> I like to come across that top edge first. So that side is done, and I've already painted that side. That's one coat of manatee gray. All right, here's my eye hook, eye bolt, whatever you wanna call it. Up underneath it is a washer, a big washer, and a nut. Oh, it's really heavy. A quick clasp, you can find those in the chain aisle. We are going to paint a baseball. So I just use like a little artist brush. Put a quarter of an inch. an angled brush and I'm just going to tap it on my brush like that or on my tire like that. We're going to work our way back up. It does not have to be neat. This does not, you do not have to be a super awesome artist to do this, obviously. outlines. When you have an outline, you have something to follow. And I'm going to flip it up to the top because my hardware hole is going to be directly underneath it. So it's right here. So I know that I want my first pedal to kind of be up here. We're going to go with mermaid tail because look at, look at those colors together. Aren't those pretty? So I'm gonna dip a tiny bit in the fluff, just a tiny bit. I'm gonna work it in down here, in just like circular motion. And there's your first petal. All right, 
wrapping it up, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye, guys. Have a good night.